Well, Mother Nature had something in store for us. Oh, I'm gonna let Hunter in. There he is. Oh my goodness. Look at all the snow. Lots of fun. Well, April in like a lion, hopefully out like a lamb. I know they usually say that for March. Where I live, usually March is still full on winter, but we had such a strange winter this year. I think a lot of people did. Like, usually we have a lot of snow and cold, cold weather. Honestly, I think in March we had some days that were colder than we did all winter, but there was no snow. And usually we always get like a snowstorm in the month of March. But I guess because Easter was so early this year, Mother Nature just decided, you know what? I'm gonna give them a beautiful Easter weekend and then they can deal with snow. So the snow is here. It is gonna last for a couple of days because it really has accumulated. I got caught in it this morning, so like my hair is kind of like frizzing up and everything. But um, I was gonna get a little bit of produce and all of that today, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not screwing around with parking lots and all of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna come home. It's the perfect day to kind of like, you know, come up with that game plan is kind of like my quote, um, just for the month of April. And then it, you guys will see where I'm coming from, how I'm trying to get organized for the month. And then hopefully you can, you know, get some ideas or inspiration or, you know, give me some feedback to you and things that you do. Um, so anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you again for all of your kind words and support. I was going back and looking over since like kind of like I try to change things up in January and you know all of the feedback everything has been I don't think I've had a video lower than like 96% like versus likes and dislikes and you know one of the things um you know let's just get it out of the way right now that is the thing like back in 2020 that is when I wanted to keep like family and all that kind of stuff separate and then do kind of my own thing on YouTube and then the pandemic and just everything kind of went to crap and everything and like the f last four years I've really been struggling as a mother, a daughter, a woman, a wife, all of those different hats and everything and now I feel like this is the year 2024 that I'm moving on to kind of like that next phase where the kids are getting older, you know, I'm a certain, you know, phase of life with my mom, I know not everybody goes through all of that and I think that's really the biggest reason of why I wanted to kind of close off everything prior to 2024 but I know a lot of you like some of the content so um, one of you had said something about the Groundhog Day video so I made that public again, and I think I'm also going to put the four-part food organization series back up again because I think there was a lot of things that worked. It kind of gave you an in-depth thing of like how I organize my deep freezer and you know certain parts of my kitchen and then some of my freezer cooking. So if there's any like food related content that you like refer back to or that you watch to kind of you know freezer cooking and all of that comment down below and I will do my best for that. But for the other part of it you know it's time to say goodbye to that. I know a lot of you like you know I hope everything's good like you know with your family and all that kind of stuff. Everything is good. It's just time to kind of separate those parts of life. I hope that you understand. Um, that's where I'm coming from. I just feel like I'm a woman approaching 50 and I just you know feel like I'm just trying to like kind of start all over again and I think the biggest thing too is I'm just you know for years and years I've watched kind of like family vloggers and women and all of that and now you know the stage of at least with my YouTube it's um homesteading and they're large families and that's the thing like I honestly, I'm gonna tell you this, I find it's easier to cook for a large group, like 10 people. I find it harder to cook for like two, three people. I find that's a lot more challenging. And that's what I kind of wanna focus on. And I think this is kind of like starting over and all of that. And as we get into March, or not March, May, June, July, like I'm kind of like trying to change the way that I cook and all that kind of stuff. And the biggest thing that changed for me from all of the years of videos and stuff is we don't have a deep freeze anymore. And when our deep freeze quit, like everything was gone and we were cleaning it out. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that I had in there was convenience foods, things that I had purchased at Costco, things that I had purchased on sale. And the reason why it was never going down is because I, I've kind of like, I've tried to get away from that kind of stuff because I actually find it increases your grocery bills and all of that. Yes, I have got a lot of inspiration of cooking more from scratch and all of that and just how easy it is to like make a pizza dough or, you know, try and stretch what I have or make it work and all of that. And that's really like my goal moving forward and all of that. But you know what? On Easter weekend, I had a bag of hash browns that I bought. They were so nice and they were so convenient. You know what? 
the pastries that I bought, like the danishes, they were such a nice treat to have once in a while. And I think that's, like I'm trying to find that balance with everything, but I also have a lot of goals too. Like I wanna make my own bread and stuff. Like that's something I, I really want to do. So instead of like buying bread, like, okay, I'm gonna make a loaf of bread. We're gonna have it for toast one morning. Okay, there's half a loaf left. Can I make like a French toast casserole for the three of us? So that's kind of where I am moving forward. And oh, sourdough? I'm really, really intrigued and interested in it. Like I think for me, it would definitely be more of a hobby. But personally, um, I just feel like for me, it would be a lot more work because one, I have to make the starter. I found a video, I was gonna like do a video of showing me how I make my starter, but kind of seeing how they make the bread, a lot of like the stretching and folding. And I do feel like there has to be a little bit of prep work and stuff. So if I wake up in the morning, I'm like, you know what? I wanna make cinnamon rolls. I know that I can do the yeast and all of that. And I find it works better for the way that I kind of function and all of that. I just don't know. I think if I had a lot of kids, I think sourdough would be really great for like quick, easy pizza doughs, um, like the, wall, the waffles and pancakes and all of the other stuff that you can make. I do think like I would be very interested in it, but as like a smaller family and all that, I just, I don't know. Like it might be something I get into in the future, but as always, leave your feedback down below. I know some of you have said that you use sourdough, you've tried it, you don't like it. And I think that's one of those things. If I want a loaf of sourdough, maybe I'll just buy it from the bakery and enjoy it and go from there. There's a time and a place for everything. And I think right now I'm just trying to get into a really good place with like my homemaking and kitchen and everything. So let's go take a quick look at kind of what the game plan is for today for me and also what I will be sharing with you in this video. Okay, so here we are, brain dump, kind of the game plan. Talked about like April. Um, we're gonna do like vlogs and some other types of videos, just kind of getting back into the groove of everything. I talked to you about like the putting back up the food content. So this is the biggest thing that I wanna do right now is my freezer inventory and kind of meals for the month. So I shared with you kind of getting back into meal planning because I was really struggling to get into a rhythm and all of that. This did help me for a while, but I've just kind of gotten away from it. And now I'm trying to get back into it a little bit more, kind of like um, turning this into maybe a little bit more of like a YouTube filming book. So I'm still gonna use it, but I'm very visual. Um, even like Easter weekend, like I made a menu, I put it up on the fridge for everybody. And like, it's just, kind of how I work and that's the same with planning. Um, that's why my planning has turned into a little bit of more like memory keeping and all of that because I'm just not getting my book out to see what this and that and all of, you know, everything else is. And um, this eventually I'm gonna be going back into like a daily planner and I'll share a little bit with you that whenever I get back into it because I gotta use up some of the planners that I have. But moving forward, it would probably just be a notebook and all of that. So I'm just trying to give you some reality Things I've used in the past that have worked and don't worked and I'm just trying to, you know, as always, figure everything out. Like, there's things I've tried, there's things that I've seen other content creators and use and taken bits and pieces and I'm just trying to share my journey into figuring it out and if you can get some tips, give me a little bit of feedback on what works for you, then that's a win-win situation for all of us. So the biggest thing right now I wanna do is the freezer inventory and meals for the month and pull from the pantry of what I have. So I know, um, like I have a pork tenderloin, I have some chicken thighs, I have a package of ground pork. Um, like I updated this on January the 26th, and I have chili, um, I have one spaghetti sauce there. I know the popcorn chicken and the sausage rounds are all done. Um, like home fries, those have been kind of pulled from, I don't even really know how much I have. That's not that big of a deal. I think the only reason I really did them was because potatoes were on sale for a dollar, but go, like moving forward, I don't think I would do that again. It was kind of a suggestion for my husband, but um, I, I just think I can do things quicker in the air fryer from scratch and have them fresh. Um, and then the freezer meals, all those are all gone. I've been pulling from them. So that's a little reminder of some things that are nice to have in there. And then um, like the baking, I still have all of the giant blueberry muffins, but all of the other ones, like I only have one container of like regular blueberry muffins. No, those are gone too. I only have one container of the oatmeal muffins. And then we still have the ramen broth, so that'll be a nice dinner. 
Um, and then I'm just kind of like updating everything. I did make a spaghetti sauce at Easter, so I want to make sure that I use the other one in this fridge first. And then I have like the fajita kits that I shared in a video. Um, they need onions and I have chicken and everything cut up and then I have a couple of beef roasts But I think my biggest priority right now is to get this part here Kind of cleaned up because these are the things that I've had the longest and I know that this stuff I've just bought in the last month So that's really kind of like what my priority is right now. So I'm just gonna um, Just I'm gonna go ahead and do it and then I'll show you kind of how my brain works and uh and you'll be seeing more of it throughout the month of April, so you can kind of get an idea of what kind of works for me. This is what I did. I just took what I had, and then I just kind of wrote out a game plan. So a six-pack of chicken thighs. I'm going to make chicken hurry. I have a pork tenderloin roast, so I'm going to do that for my husband and I and roast it. And we're going to do, like, mashed sweet potatoes. And then I have, like, stuffing and then cranberries. And then for our son, um, just because we do have, like, sensory and texture issues with his autism... I have a two pack of pork chops, so that will be great. So we'll definitely get two dinners out of this. And then I have a two pack of pork chops so I can do shake and bake pork chops and then make um, sweet potato fries and then have something else for him. And then I have four packages of ground beef. I have a can of Manwich Sloppy Joes. And then I have two four packs of buns, so that will work out. I wanna make a meatloaf. I have a lot of egg noodles and I wanna try a beef stroganoff and see if our son will like that. And then just burgers, quick, easy, you know, um, dinner one night. And then I do have two um, sausage tubes and this is one of the problems for us because we are a small family, is like making a breakfast casserole and maybe if I cut it in half, um, and then I'm thinking about making a, like a breakfast casserole and then us eating it for dinner because that's one of the things my husband like he wants to enjoy it You know fresh and I do too and then the leftovers we can use for breakfast So that would help me make dinner, but then also have a couple of like hearty breakfast So that might be nice, you know on the weekends or something So I'll you know share all of that and then chili. I have quite a bit of that um, Lunches that's great for my husband and I it's a quick easy dinner too And then the other thing that I've done with it for our son is make like almost like a hamburger helper Where I really just kind of take the chili and I just cook some macaroni and mix it in he loves it And that's a quick easy dinner and that's one of the those things instead of buying like convenience foods or frozen pizzas like having some homemade chili in the freezer pulling it out adding some macaroni sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top everybody's happy and then I do have an eight pack of chicken thighs and this is actually a hello fresh meal that I made and you you put the chicken thighs in mayo mayonnaise and then you put them in panko and they like crisp up and our son really liked that like texture wise he loved it so that's something I want to make and then I do have a package of thin chicken breasts. I think there's five of them. So I'm going to take four of them and use them for a rice casserole for my husband and I because I have some soups in the pantry. And then I'll take that one for our son and then I'll kind of make like a chicken parm with it because it's really quick and easy. And then make like a pasta dish for him. And then I do have four steaks left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two for my husband and I and have them like because our son doesn't like that like just on its own. So we'll have like a nice dinner. So maybe, you know, I'll make the chili macaroni. It's all about having that balance because I know how to do them like perfectly in a cast iron skillet and then I can share that with you. And then the other two steaks I can cut up for like fajitas or tacos or quesadillas or something because our son does like that. So that's kind of the balance. So that's kind of what I'm working with for the month of April. It gives me a good game plan. And then the other thing too, um, like the broccoli, I tried for you. I don't like frozen vegetables. I much prefer them... Um, fresh so I do have some like peas and uh, green beans and stuff in my freezer which I don't mind there's some things I like and some things I don't so that's what I'm trying to figure out um, just because we are a small family I'm out every day and I just think it's a little bit easier to just kind of grab fresh when I can so that will be all part of what you see in the month of April too and then this stuff will worry about that later this is kind of my priority right now so um so pull from the pantry, I'll share that with you whenever I go to make the meals and all of that. I know I have some cream soups, so that's why I want to make that chicken and rice soup. I know I have a lot of egg noodles, so that is where I'm going to pull that um, for the beef stroganoff. I also have stovetop, so I want to make a meatloaf using that. And then I have some bag stuffing, and that's what I'm going to do with the pork tenderloin. So... Um, textures, that's one of the things with our son that not everybody has to like deal with. So rice... I've tried many different ways. I've tried putting rice in with like the taco mix 
to see if he'd eat it. No, he does not like rice. Mashed potatoes is something I want to work a little bit more on. And then like tortillas is something that's really always nice to have in a house. So if we have barbecue or something like that and he doesn't like it, I know that if I cut it up, saute it with some, like if I have some peppers and onions sauteed, cut up the meat, put it in a tortilla with a little bit of cheese and that, he will eat it. So that just helps me like having to make two separate kind of dinners. And then um, we're, we'll talk about the Pioneer Woman and then the sales after. And then the goals, like I said, I do want to make bread from scratch. I do want to try making my own, you know, hamburg buns or, you know, dinner rolls and stuff like that and bake goods. Like I do want to try and do more of that from scratch and all of that. And I think for me right now, that's a little bit more of a hobby trying to figure it out. So, um, so Pioneer Woman. So if you've been watching me for any amount of time, um, the Pioneer Woman, I like her magazines. They are honestly the only magazines that I buy. So I have the summer ones here and then I have the spring ones. I don't have all of them. I have all of the fall and winter ones, I think, but I think they might be in different parts of the house because I think I might've been looking at recipes here and there. So um, I just want to kind of like build that up. But anyways, I haven't looked through the older ones, but then this is the one that I bought for this year. I was going to make her cheesy scalloped potatoes, but it was really different and I didn't end up making it. But then here, um, it was like, I like when she has like cowboys versus cowgirls. So it's like the recipes that kind of like her husband prefers and then kind of like recipes, you know, that are a little bit more like, you know, what, a, like the, what she likes, you know, the caprese frittata with pesto. Like I know that my husband and my son wouldn't like that. I don't think I'd like it, but the chorizo and potato frittata, like that's probably something more that we would like really like. So I enjoy that. And then I was like trying to like Oh, I had a brain fart this morning because I put like frittata versus omelet and I'm like, well, I know what an omelet is, but it was actually frittata versus quiche. So the frittata is more of like the open faced omelet starts on the stove top, moves into the oven and then the quiche, it's all in the oven. I will cook my vegetables and everything, but it's more creamy, like very more custard like and sometimes I don't love the texture of it. I find it might be a little bit too eggy. So I think like just even for my family, like I think a frittata would be a much better fit just with the texture issues and all of that. So um, that's what I'm going to be pulling from for all of that. And the other thing I'm going to do too is go through like my HelloFresh recipes and all of that. And yesterday I canceled the account and then I got this in the mail yesterday saying, oh, we missed you. So this is what happens is you will get emails, but if you cancel your membership, they will send you mail ones. And from what I know, they last a long time. So this is like... 50% off the first two boxes and then 20% off the second two. So that's something that I always kind of have in my back corner. If I know it's going to be a really busy week, if I'm kind of struggling, like I just, I'm not in the mood for all of this kind of stuff. I find this helps me. So the one last thing that I'm going to share with you, what I'm, I've been doing a lot more lately, and that is the sales. So I'm just going to kind of share with you um, what I do for the sales produce and how I try and keep it organized and make it a little bit easier for picking up fresh produce because if I buy everything at one, like say I buy everything on Thursday, the day that the sales start, by the next Tuesday or Wednesday, like a lot of the produce has kind of wilted or like that really nice quality has gone or, you know, everything changes. And um, I'm just gonna share what I do because I also find it saves me a lot of money and helps me with having something fresh for dinner, which I really like. On my phone, I have the Flip app, and that's usually what I do. Like, I think Wednesday morning, that's when everything kind of goes up. So you can see what all of the sales and everything are. So I just kind of make a list of the stores that I can shop at. So obviously, if you don't live in Canada, you're not going to have some of these stores. You'll have Walmart. <laughs> but uh, that's just what I do. So Walmart, like the Honeydew and the Cantaloupe, they're on for $1.84. My husband is the only one that likes melon, so... You know, that would be great for him. Give him a little bit of change. Uh, the colored peppers are on for 94 cents a pound. Honeycrisp apples are on for $1.47 a pound. Strawberries are on for $3.97 a pound. And then Giant Tiger, mushrooms, cucumbers, and celery are a great price. Um, Metro, raspberries, celery, broccoli, yogurt, and milk are on for $3.49. So I just kind of write the things that are kind of of interest for me right now because I'm not trying to stock anything up. Like those are the things we use on a regular basis. Yogurt and milk, we go through them quite a bit. I find with orange juice, I buy the great value brand. Even with sale prices, I just find like that's the best price. But yogurt and milk, those are one of those things when they go on sale, um, I try and make it work for us. And then food basics. Strawberries are $1.84, but the last time I bought them, when they were that price, they were 
terrible and I wasted my money on them. Cauliflower, dollar, I don't like cauliflower anymore. I try to do keto and cauliflower rice does not replace rice. For some people it might, but I really don't care for cauliflower anymore. That kind of diet eating plan just ruined it for me. And then Activia yogurt is on there for $5.49. Um, like the yogurt at Metro, it's like Astro or something. I don't normally buy it, but it is a pretty good price. So we'll see. And then no frills. The mandarins are on sale. Broccoli is $1.99. And then raspberries are $2.99. So it's just one of those things where if I feel like, you know, if I say I go to Walmart and the strawberries look really good for $3.97, maybe I'll pick two of them up, get some peppers and the melon. But then, you know, if I want to get some celery and broccoli, then I can go to Metro and get a couple of packages of raspberries and try and make it work out. So I will just actually put this in my purse and that way I have it. Yeah. I can make a list and everything on my phone, but I am um, old school. I like pen and paper. I just find it's easier to pull this out and refer to it than it is kind of playing around with my phone some days. So this is everything that I try and do to stay organized, stay on top of it. And most importantly, on the days where I'm not feeling it, I'm a little bit of a hot mess. I can quickly refer to something. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this on my fridge and then that's my game plan for the next little while. So, you know, I have an idea of what I want this weekend to be. And then we'll just kind of work through this as the month goes. And then we'll kind of like reevaluate. And then I will completely update my freezer inventory. And then we'll start moving towards like in the summertime, we use a lot more chicken breast because we barbecue. Obviously, pork chops, we use a lot more um, steaks and anything that makes life a lot easier for me. And that is having my husband barbecue. And then I work on like the, you know, the starches and the vegetables and all that kind of in the house. That is what I love about the warmer months where we live and not the snow that I'm looking out at. <laughs> Here is the freezer that I'm trying to really focus on because what I have in the garage, like it's all really fresh. Even some of this stuff is newer that I don't have to worry about. It's the older stuff. But I also have some frozen pizza dough that I bought that I want to see like how, like what's the best way to let it rise and how does it work so I can freeze some of mine. So if I make like my pizza dough, like having one pizza and then freezing the other one. And then at No Frills, um, I did get some like cauliflower gnocchi. I wanted to try it. A lot of people say this is very comparable to Trader Joe's. We don't have Trader Joe's. And then this is just like a cauliflower one. I know our son will like this and that will help me out. And then one of the other things I do like to have for him is like the, the, like the veggie stuff. So this is like cauliflower like patties and the cauliflower bites and all of that because there is a crispy coating. Those help me some nights with getting dinner on the table for everybody. And I have to accept that some of this stuff is very helpful. There is a p place for it in our lives. Like on the weekend, it was so nice. Like um, I gave my daughter a couple of options and these are the ones that she picked. The savory home fries, they're just so good. And I didn't even use them all. And those are the little things that I want to try and have a little bit more of here and there, like a bag of french fries. But like I don't need like five, six of them. Like I think it's good just to have like one, use it and then replace it. Today was the perfect day to take the time, sit down, go through the freezer inventory, see what I've had for a while, kind of come up with a game plan of meals that, you know, I can make, pull from the pantry, and just kind of share it with you. And then as I was going through the whole process, and then looking at the spring magazines, and then thinking about the summer magazines, I realized that I am doing my change of season for, you know, my pantry, my freezer, kind of how we cook. And that's because where I live, I really do find that there's two different seasons. And, you know, it's usually in the fall. We're excited for, you know, sweater weather. We're getting to the cooler favorite time of the year in fall. We're looking forward to having soups and stews and roasts. For us, Thanksgiving is the second Monday in October. So we definitely start to change a lot of different things. Plus, you know, all of the root vegetables and everything, like all of the you know, the produce that takes like all season to kind of grow. And that's when it's at its, you know, best price for the Thanksgiving because it is the harvest and that's what we celebrate for Thanksgiving. But then when it comes to spring, we're really excited because we're tired of all of the heavy meals and we're excited for all of the freshness of grilling season, looking forward to barbecuing. And the other great thing about it is produce starts to get better with price and the quality because in the winter months, 
when you purchase something it's you know it's usually coming from a warmer climate it's been you know on the transportation for I remember how long then by the time it gets to the store and say you buy it at the store on a Thursday or Friday you don't go to eat it till Tuesday or Wednesday you know it's been sitting in your fridge that much longer and then you know the taste isn't as good it's starting to go bad quicker and that's one of the things I love about the changing of the seasons I would also love to hear any feedback for those of you that have Blackstone grills they're just like the flat ones. I've I've seen a lot of like amazing like people like content of people using them and that and especially for us because the past couple of years like we built a whole brand new deck and like our deck is kind of like our living space and the thoughts of like in the summer months being out on the deck and making breakfast, listening to the birds chirp, kind of being out in nature and then, you know, sitting down on our deck and enjoying breakfast like it sounds something that would really kind of like extend you know part of our home out onto the deck so i love any feedback and if you have one does it replace the grill or do you still use both of them so anything you want to tell me i would greatly appreciate it and i think also for myself too um you know i've been trying to make better choices and all of that and i think you know cleaning out the deep freeze and seeing all of the convenience and all the processed foods and um you know there's things that are good when you make them homemade and there's things that, you know, do taste better if you pick them up here and there. But even, you know, I find it's really easy to whip up a homemade pizza now. Like, one day I went to pick up a frozen pizza. I could not get over the prices of them. Same with, like, I have blueberry um, muffins to make. And, you know, I think a package of muffins is like $6 now. Like, a frozen pizza is over $5. And a couple of weeks ago, um, Walmart had their anniversary sales and they were really good and I picked up bags of flour I think it was the brand name it was less than five dollars for like the size that I like and I'm like oh this is great because I can make how many pizzas how many different types of muffins or baking or cookies or anything and it's still cheaper than what it would cost me to buy it all the pre-packaged and pre-made and all of that and I find when I make it from homemade like it definitely I'm not making it as frequently so we're trying to you know do better with all of that but on Easter weekend, like the home fries were really good because I knew if I put them in the air fryer after 15 minutes, they'd be perfect compared to the ones that I did. And I really did them because my husband asked me to. And then, you know, um, the potatoes were on sale for a dollar for a 10 pound bag. But even a 10 pound bag of potatoes for us, like just for the three of us, like it takes a long time to go through all of that because we eat a lot of different things. But um, the danishes that we bought at Easter time too, they're really nice and enjoyable and I think it's all about trying to find the balance for all of that but honestly this is the time to you know make the bigger changes where you know we're eating more fresh stuff and feeling a lot better and then as we get into the fall months and all of that it's not buying the things that I used to buy years ago and we were already making big changes but now that the nicer weather is coming too, there's different activities that I want to do. I don't necessarily want to be stuck in a gym. Like I really want to get out and obviously do some walks and hikes, but we got a lot of snow right now. And that's kind of the long-term goal. So that's a wrap for today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, you know, I'm cooking for a family of three, have a couple of extra things in the freezer. That's kind of where I am right now. And I want to take the time to thank you for the vlog number one, kind of getting back on track of everything. For those of you that commented, commented, gave you the thumbs up and all of that, um, sharing, you know, your curveballs, your oopsies, and all the, you know, things that happen in life, the good, the bad. And I really, really appreciate it. I think for me personally, um, you know, in 2020, this is what I was trying to do, was kind of separate and have my own thing as like kind of like separate from my family and all of that and then the past four years just as a daughter a mother a wife a woman like all the different changes I've just felt like the whole world is kind of went topsy-turvy on me and I was just trying to do the best that I could with everything and you know I find in the past year like everybody in my family you know people that you know I have a lot of responsibilities and all of that to take care of like everything has kind of fallen into place and I've done a little bit more soul searching and all of that and you know now I'm trying to work my way through all of it and I think that's the biggest thing is there's days where I am needed I need to be here there and you know spend time with everybody and you know there's probably at least three days a week like three days during the week where it's a little bit more I have that time where if I could have a job or something like that 
And I think that's really where I was struggling and I just didn't know what my purpose and everything was. But now that I feel like I have something to share and offer and will continue growing and, you know, processing everything, I think just getting back into the groove of, you know, vlogs, keeping it really simple, just keeping it real. And then, like, moving forward, I do want to try, like, different types of editing, like, kind of, like, storytelling, like, artsy-fartsy videos, I would call them. And I think that's my whole thing of getting older and as you know life changes and all of that instead of like sitting here and talking to you about it i'd like to kind of tell maybe some of my experiences or difficulties or victories and all that through like a different type of video but that takes time and just figuring it all out but i think like i have like a lot of good goals for myself personally and then we have like our home goals and our family goals and all that kind of stuff but what you will be seeing on this channel is what I'm working towards, trying to get dinner on the table and just figure out this whole thing of going through a different stage of life as I get closer and closer to that big 5-0. So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day, and we will talk to you all very soon.